This will sound very strange, but a cryptic prophecy given by a witch doctor to Jerry Seinfeld in an iconic episode of Seinfeld is part of a prophecy that is predicting that a dirty bomb will explode in Manhattan on May 4th, 2023. And there will be a massive evacuation of Manhattan Island. It is also likely that the official narrative in the mainstream media that will emerge regarding this event will somehow be a lie. The date that this video is posted proves that this prediction was made ahead of time, as does this time-stamped email and forensic notes PDF. If you are skeptical, please email me and I will forward these to you. Although it has been known since early 2021 that a dirty bomb would explode in Manhattan in the near future, as you can see in this email, this prediction for a dirty bomb explosion in Manhattan on May 4th was known since at least April 17th. There are also many other videos on this channel that make this prediction that were posted many days before this video was posted. This video series will explain how the famous basketball prophecy in Seinfeld, in conjunction with the prophetic career of the GOAT of football, Tom Brady, and the prophetic events that occurred in the Rams-Patriots Super Bowl in 2002, right after 9-11, and the Rams-Patriots Super Bowl in 2019, as well as this Rams Super Bowl in 2022, and the final game of Tom Brady's career, which was against the Rams in this year's playoffs, tie together in a big picture of prophetic signs that is a prophecy that is predicting that a dirty bomb will explode in Manhattan and there will be a mass evacuation from Manhattan Island on May 4th, 2023. The information in this video series is truly astounding. Obviously, when this prediction comes to pass, you will know that you need to watch every minute of every video in this series and every minute of every video on this channel. There are five parts to this Seinfeld prophecy video series that is explaining the prediction for a dirty bomb in Manhattan on April 13th. Each part is completely different than the other parts. They are all filled with amazing information. Make sure you watch all parts. Before the walls of security collapsed on the ancient city of Jericho, the Hebrews blew ram's horns and then the walls of security collapsed in God's judgment. The Hebrews were led by Joshua, who, as recorded in the Bible, died at the age of 110. On 9-11 in 2001, it was 110 stories of the Twin Towers that collapsed. The two uprights of field goal posts symbolize the two towers on 9-11 that were rammed by two planes that were flights destined for Los Angeles, the home of the Los Angeles Rams. The two towers were rammed 17 minutes apart. The Rams lost the Super Bowl in 2002, just a few months after 9-11, after Tom Brady, in the final minute of the game, took the Patriots from their 17-yard line to kick a field goal and break the 17-17 tie, which hinted at the two planes that rammed the two towers 17 minutes apart just a few months earlier. 17 years later, with 17 Super Bowl records to his name, Tom Brady entered a second Super Bowl against the Rams. Beginning with the Rams-Patriots Super Bowl just after 9-11, Brady has been in 9 of the 11 Super Bowls the Patriots have been in. In this year's Super Bowl, with the score at 3-13, which hinted at the date 3-13, March 13th, the Rams kicker missed an extra point, something that very rarely happens. Earlier in the playoffs, this Rams kicker kicked the game-winning field goal with four seconds left in the game to end Tom Brady's career. It was the Rams kicker's second game-winning field goal kicked late in the game against Tom Brady and his former team that had rejected him. 
it will be explained later how this symbolized the two planes that rammed the two towers on 9-11. On November 11th, 2018, in Soldier Field in Chicago, Chicago Bears kicker player number one in four field goal attempts hit the upright goalpost four times in one game. The date that player one hit the upright goalpost four times was 11-11, which is four ones. 11-11 in 2018 was the 100th anniversary of World War I that ended on the 11th day of the 11th month at 11 a.m. This kicker hit the upright goalpost four times in one game in Soldier Field, a historic field that is named after the soldiers that fought in World War I. On this date, 11-11-2018, scientists were baffled by mysterious seismic waves that traveled 11,000 miles around the world on the 100th anniversary of World War I. For those that don't know football, hitting the upright goalpost is exceedingly rare. He hit the upright goalpost four times in one game, and the first kick that hit the upright goalpost was with 11 minutes remaining in the first quarter of the game. The second kick that hit the upright goalpost hit the upright goalpost with 11 minutes remaining in the second quarter. The third kick that hit the upright goalpost hit the upright goalpost with 11 minutes remaining in the third quarter. After this kick, the play clock was stopped at exactly 11 minutes and 9 seconds remaining. The fourth kick that hit the upright goalpost hit the upright goalpost exactly as the play clock ticked 8 minutes and 46 seconds remaining in the third quarter. On 9-11, at 8.46 a.m., Flight 11, with a crew of 11 people, the second plane had a crew of 9 people, hit the Twin Towers that looked like a giant 11 in New York State, the 11th state to join the Union. Also, the upright field goal post looks like a giant 11. Jesus coined the phrase the 11th hour, which referred to the last hour of daylight before darkness, and in English is an idiom that means last chance, time is running out, as in last chance to repent and get right with God before time runs out. Exactly 117 weeks before Tom Brady's 7th Super Bowl win in 10 Super Bowl appearances was the day that this Chicago Bears kicker hit the upright goalpost four times in one game. Exactly 109 weeks before Tom Brady's Super Bowl win was the day this same Chicago Bears kicker kicked the infamous double doink which lost the game for the Bears in the closing seconds of the playoff game. The ball ricocheted off the upright goalpost and then bounced off the crossbar back into the end zone. As famous sportscaster Al Michaels said, that's impossible. And only oh, hits the upright again. That's impossible. He does it again. These 117 weeks and 109 weeks connections back from the Super Bowl to these two days involving this kicker hitting the upright goalpost hints at the cryptic prophecy in the iconic Seinfeld episode titled Heart Attack, which is simply Cleveland 117 and San Antonio 109. Excuse me, Tor, may I ask you a question? You have intuitive abilities, you're in touch with a lot of cosmic kind of things. I have this note I can't read. I was wondering if... <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Cleveland 117, San Antonio 109. <laughs> This prophecy was fulfilled on December 12, 2019, when Cleveland scored 117 and San Antonio scored 109 in a game that went into overtime. It was one of four overtime games in a row that San Antonio played in, and this was the first time that this had happened to a team in the NBA in literally 50 years. 
109 and 117 weeks after these two incidents involving the Bears kicker hitting the upright goalpost was Super Bowl 55 in 2021 and Tom Brady's seventh Super Bowl win in 10 Super Bowl appearances. And although it was Super Bowl 55, it was the 50th Super Bowl of the modern era in which the teams from the AFC and NFC play each other in the regular season. The Super Bowl champions for the 2019 season were the Kansas City Chiefs. It was their first appearance in a Super Bowl in literally 50 years. In the Bible, 50 years symbolizes God's children returning to their original inheritance. And also Pentecost symbolizes the church, and Pentecost means the 50th day. And Pentecost is also known as the Feast of Weeks, exactly 50 weeks after the infamous double doink kicked in the playoff game in Chicago was another double doink kicked in Chicago by Kansas City Chiefs kicker player number seven. This double doink that was kicked by the kicker for the Kansas City Chiefs was kicked just a few weeks before the Kansas City Chiefs made it to their first Super Bowl in literally 50 years. Exactly 44 weeks after this Kansas City Chiefs kicker kicked this double doink was the day of the famous quadruple doink when the field goal kick hit the goalposts four times. This quadruple doink, like the Bears double doink in the prophetic playoff game, would have been a game-winning field goal. Instead, because of this missed quadruple doink field goal attempt, this team lost the game. It got worse for this kicker that kicked the quadruple doink in overtime because his team got the ball back again and they attempted another field goal which was blocked by the other team. In a CBS Sports News article, the kicker was said to be a goat, but not the greatest of all time type of goat, like Tom Brady, but a scapegoat. The term scapegoat comes from the Bible. The ancient Jews would conduct a ritual sacrifice involving a goat on the Temple Mount on the Day of Atonement in the Hebrew calendar. Goat is Antichrist symbolism, and the Day of Atonement symbolizes judgment and the second coming of Lord Jesus Christ and the defeat of the Antichrist goat on the Temple Mount in Jerusalem. The Day of Atonement is the tenth day of the seventh month. This is why Tom Brady, the goat of football, won his seventh Super Bowl win in 10 Super Bowl appearances. The GOAT won his seventh Super Bowl win in 10 Super Bowl appearances on the same day that SpaceX's Dragon Crew tied the record for most number of days in space at 84 days. The number 84 symbolizes the end times period of the Antichrist's rule. As in the Bible, the end times is associated with a symbolic period of seven years, which began in 2017. Seven years is 84 months. This is the end of part one of this video. After this prediction has come to pass, you will know that you should watch all of part two of this video. And for that matter, watch every minute of every video on this channel. Click on the link or the link to part two will be in the description box below this video. Also, please leave a like and a comment and share this video with everyone you know and more. Don't stop sharing it everywhere in social media.